Alrighty then. We should be ready to go here at St. Stephen's High School for this afternoon's matchup of your St. Stephen's Spartans against the Cedar Park Timberwolves. Boys, lacrosse. I'll be Brian Reed. I'll be bringing you play-by-play -play for tonight. And I just should let everyone know this is my first lacrosse broadcast I'll be doing. So any inconsistencies, any, well, me not quite getting the rules, I do apologize for and hope to improve on in the next game, which will be right after this one. It'll be girls lacrosse. You can stick around and watch that one. They'll be playing Lake Travis. But today, as I could say tonight, they'll be playing the boys lacrosse. will be playing your Cedar Park, not the Cedar Park Timberwolves. We should be getting ready underway in about less than a couple minutes. I'd like to thank Randy, who's my QA, meaning quality assurance tonight. Making sure audio and video are sounding good, as well as to Zuna Venkat for <laughs> making sure um, I get the broadcast up and running. Folks, I'll just let you know I was about a minute away, two minutes away. I brought this whole thing started from... This thing not getting off the air because my computer decided it had to do a complete factory reset on me all at once. It was not fun. According to Max Preps, St. Stephen's comes into this game. Nothing, nothing. Although it does say there's other games on the schedule. Both teams getting ready to go. Here, Cedar Park wearing their usual... Green jerseys with the gray shorts as St. Stephen's will be wearing gray shirts with gray shorts as well with white numerals with a red trim. Teams getting ready to take the face off. Let me zoom in just a tad bit more. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Uh, so I apologize, folks, as we're still trying to get everything situated here at St. Stephen's High School. Sitting in the stands, and the sun is coming down, and it is actually behind me. So hopefully, in just about maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, the sun will. Be completely out of the picture. Lights will be on. And we should see everything pretty perfectly. It'll be David Connor to take the face off. Nope. And face off. Knocked initially away by Cedar Park. It is taken by St. Stephen's. Stevens passing it along, takes it. Got to walk that camera work there into the attacking zone. Is number 26. And I look down for one moment. Oh, still has it. Nicholas Cooper, who has it. And he gives it over into the wing. Drives towards the net and shoots it back around. Takes it back again. Kind of drives to the hoops, takes a shot, and scores. As St. Stephen's quickly gets on the board, it's one to nothing. So 
I do apologize. I did miss the number on that one, but the important thing is that St. Stephen's gets on the board there. It should be Andrew Bonesack take the face off here for St. Stephen's. Knocks it away, and Cedar Park has it. Takes it. Takes a bit of a whack and then gives it across. Ball's on the ground, picked up by Cedar Park. On the ground again, tries to knock it away. Now it's in the open field and it's grabbed by St. Stephens across midfield. Takes it up the wing, he's got a chance, gonna take a shot, bounces it in there. Looks like that was number 29, that was Jack Mabley, who takes it on a steal, takes it himself, and you could hear the coach from the sideline saying, you got a shot, you got a shot, and he just took it. Less than two minutes in, Cedar Park already out early to a quick 2-0 lead over the Cedar Park Timberwolves. Jack maybe will take the face off. On the ground, he's not maybe, but knocked away, he wants it. Defenseman out there, long stick. Fought for around the out of bounds. And now the out of bounds, it will go to Cedar Park. As it takes it across midfield. Shoots it across number seven, he has it. Back over to eight. Just staying out of the attacking zone. Gives it across number 24. As it gives it back over to number eight. Number eight's going to take a long shot and shoots it wide out of bounds. And it'll go back over to St. Stephen's. Goalie has it. And he'll take it up the wing. Sets back, gives it back to the goalkeeper. He shoots up number eight, and he'll take it as far as he can take it. He'll take it into the attacking zone. So David Connor has it, gives it underneath to number two, Zach Medelson. And gives it number 23. Shoots it across to 26, just outside the attacking zone. Give it back over to number 23. That is Luke Near. Near takes a shot, shoots it wide behind the net, going towards out of bounds and able to just keep it inside. Field of play. Back up top to Connor. Connor spin moves. Can't really take a shot. Now it takes a shot and knocked away by the goalkeeper and grabbed by Cedar Park. Now on the ground, it's going to be still on the ground, taken back by St. Stephen's. Good job there. Going towards the net, thinking about taking a shot and turns around. Is it back outside the attacking zone? Back over to Connor. Connor takes a shot, knocked away in front of the net. Who wants it in the crease? Well, not quite the crease. And it's taken back by Cedar Park. Opportunity there for St. Stephen's, but Cedar Park's defense comes up that time. Great for Cedar Park. Takes it, gives it into the attacking zone. I go to number 24. He has it in the wing. Has no real where to go with it. Ball's on the ground, taken by St. Stephens. Full head of steam running up the field. 23 gives it over to the Connor right in front of the net, shoots and scores. That's an awful camera work there, but he did score. That is number seven. I believe it was number seven because it's not on my roster here. So maybe I'm just getting the number wrong. 
But it's another goal for the Spartans. As timeout is taken. So seven minutes, 35 seconds left to play here in the first. And the Spartans are up three to nothing over the Timberwolves. So about ready to get back to playing some more lacrosse. Here at St. Stephen's, sun finally starting to go down, and it might just get a little cool out here. That'd be Luke Near to take the face off for the Spartans. It's won by Cedar Park. Number five for the Temper Wolves takes it. Goes into the attacking zone. Passes it back out. 23 has it. 28 trying to get it, and he's going to call foul on that one. He'll go back to the Spartans. It's number 28, Andrew Bonesack on the, getting the infraction called on him. Connor has it. He got nowhere to go with it. Shoots it back out to number 29. That is Jack Mabley. So you gotta make sure that camera working all good. Most important part is number 26, Nicholas Cooper from the top of the zone. He's going to drive towards the net. In front, takes a shot, scores! <laughs> Much like a one-timer in hockey, just shoots it right out in front of the net. And he was right there. That is Dave. Sorry, make that Dodd Connor. I'm calling it David, but Connor right there in front of the net to make the shot. Beautifully set up there by the Spartans and it's now four to nothing over the Timberwolves. I'm ready for the face off. Ball shot out and it'll be grabbed by the Timberwolves. Gives it across. He's all by himself up there and now passes it into the attacking zone. Trying to whack it away and gives it right back out. Number eight will take it again. Gets around. Defender pushed. And take him number 28. Closer to the net. Shoots it back behind the net. In the corner, knocked away, stolen by the Spartans, then fought for out of bounds. That will be out of bounds, and it will go back to the Timberwolves. Right there is Maddox Restivo, who's kind of Johnny on the spot in that situation. However, Timberwolves doing a good job after he got possession of it, at least almost possession of it, to get the ball out of bounds and retake it. So number eight will have it. Just outside the zone. Gives it to 
Nobody yet. Now it's going to take it himself. Right in front of the net. Nowhere to go with it. Shoots it right back behind it. No one in the goal. And actually the goalkeeper grabbed it. Just going to give it right back to the goalkeeper. Trying to see if I can get his number. He says he's number seven. But nowhere to be found. Switch back over to Hawkins. Hawkins over to Connor. Connor's going to take himself full head of steam. Front of the net takes a shot and scores. Back to back goals for Connor. It's now five to nothing. Spartans. Still four minutes, 22 seconds left to play here in the first. The Spartans have come out hot. And face-off won by the Spartans initially. Had yeah, a little bit of difficulty picking that one up. Jack Mabley won that face-off. He has it. He's just going to take it himself into the zone. Shoots it back out. Shot from long range. He scores! Cooper Nicholas with the goal on that one. Long distance. Maybe in... Major League Lacrosse, that might have been worth two. It's only worth one here. So right now, it seems almost like whenever St. Stephen's takes a shot, they're going to be scoring. So now it's 6 to nothing after that goal by Nicholas Cooper. And faceoff taken... By the Spartans, number 13, gives it over to Connor. Connor's going to run behind the net. There's nowhere to go with it. He's going to hang with it into the wing. Back to the top of the zone, top of the wing, I should say. To Maddox for Steve O. He's going to give it across. So I believe that's... Jack Mabley, no, that's number 23. That is Luke Near. Gives it back over to Connor. Connor being bugged, but he's going to hold on to it. Thinks about taking a shot from where he was, but I don't think he would have gotten closer to the net. Back over to Near. Near gives it into the zone to number six. That is Jason Lawton. Lawton gives it underneath the net to Zach Middleson. Middleson back over to Layton. Layton back over to Near. Near driving to the net. Fakes a shot. Now this is going to back up. Position himself now. Takes, goes behind that. Thought he was going to take a shot there. As... Zach Mendelson tries to give a pass to number three, William Burkhart. However, it goes out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Timberwolves. Twenty-four takes it, gets around two defenders, and they're gonna have to hold stay in their side of the field. Shoots it. In front of that, takes a shot and bounces one in there. Scored. And the Timberwolves are on the board. It's now 6-1 to one in favor of the Spartans. Two minutes, 19 seconds left to play here in the first.
And faceoff will be taken by the Spartans. So this is going to have a full head of steam running into the zone. That was Nicholas Cooper who gives it over to Jack Mabley. Mabley's going to take it himself. He's going to take a shot, tries to bounce it, bounces over the net, goes out of bounds, and it should stay with the Spartans. Zach Mabley gives it over to Cooper. Cooper behind the net, or in front of the net now. Takes a shot and scores. A hat trick of goals for him in the first. It's now 7-1 to Spartans. Make that Dodd Connor. And on the goal, and Spartans have regained their sixth goal lead. Face off will be taken by Cedar Park. Full head of steam. This is going to run right into the zone. Number eight takes a shot and scores. Right off the face off. Number eight for Cedar Park just runs across into the attacking zone and takes a shot. Bounces one in there. It's now seven to two. Face off will be taken by the Timberwolves. It's taken by Cooper. Cooper takes it. The zone backs out. It's a little push. Holds on. Mainly getting set up in front of the net. That's where they're all going to converge. As Cooper will take it. And there's nowhere to go. Passes in front to Mabley. Mabley takes a shot, shoots it wide, and it'll go out of bounds. If you have to decide whose ball it is, it will be Spartan ball. And Zach Mendelson will have it. Gives it up to Cooper. Cooper over to Mabley. Jack Mabley. Already has a few goals today. Gives it back underneath the net to Zach. Pass was a little bit wide. Going towards out of bounds. Well, they're going to hold on to it. They are going to hold on to it. Is Jason Lawton, which is a Layton. And then they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. It will go back to the Timberwolves. So 38 seconds left to play here in the first. Clock's going to start moving now. Long pass to midfield. On the ground. Out of the stick. Of number eight, who already has a goal today. Twenty seconds left to play. You can hear him yelling on the bench. Number seven, he has it. Got nowhere to go. Now he's got a chance. Tries to take a shot. It's knocked away. Ball's going towards out of bounds. It will go out of bounds with five seconds left. Not really any meaningful time I think really to get a, a shot off is it will be Spartans balls they're probably just going to hold on to this one and let the clock run out in the first quarter correction it will be Cedar Park ball I think just getting it back in the situation so two seconds left loses the handle on it and now will take us to the end of the first Spartans score early and often as they lead the Timberwolves seven to two We'll take a quick break. You're listening to St. Stephen's Boys Lacrosse on the Vite Media Network. We'll be right back.
As we are set to begin the second. So you'll now be swapping ends, which shouldn't be too much of a deal right now with the sun going now, but it will be going slightly into the, the sun now, which could make things a little bit tricky. As the goalkeeper for Cedar Park was having to kind of look a little bit into the wind, though he is wearing a helmet. Still, that's a little tricky as the faceoff will be taken by the Spartans. David Center. He takes it and gives it over to Nicholas Cooper. It's taken by Cedar Park. Takes it himself. He's got room in front of him. Takes it in front of the net. Ball's knocked out and taken by the Spartans. What a play there as he was wide open. But just a good job to knock that one away. It's taken by the Spartans with a full head of steam. Pass it into the zone underneath the stick. Of looks like number 27, that is Wyatt Wilkerson. And he'll go back to the Timberwolves. As ball is knocked away, trying to hold on to it. Number two, that's, that's Zach Medelson, trying to grab a hold of it, able to knock it away for just a second and let. Connor grab it. Connor gives it over to Mebley. So Mebley, Jack Mebley will take it just outside of the zone. Gives it across to Nicholas Cooper. Cooper will spin move, takes a shot and scores. <laughs> what a shot there by Cooper. Eight to two. And a six-goal lead once again for the Timberwolves. No, not the Timberwolves, the Spartans. It's taken by the Spartans. That is Mabley. He'll take it. Into the zone. Whistle's blown. We're going to get a timeout called on the field. The Timberwolves up 8-2 to two here in the second.
Cedar Park will take it. Number seven has it kind of right along the sideline and pushed out. Makes it back into the wing. Goalkeeper gives it up to I'll say it couldn't really sell you. Ball's on the ground. Kicked away and then back on the ground again. Whistle blows. Tries to do a long pass all the way across. And I'm going to say he was just in when he has that ball. It's number 17. He'll take it. That's Sam Palmer. Tries to give it across. Ball goes out. Back to the Timberwolves. Gives over to number seven. Seven, he gives it underneath. Number 28. Back across. Ball's on the ground. Who wants it? On the ground again. Originally, he was snared by the Temple Wolves. And now it's taken by the Spartans. Number 17, Sam Palmer. He'll take it long pass all the way across to number 28. That is Andrew Bonsack. And give it to Connor. Connor takes it himself. All by himself up the wing now. Underneath to Zach. Back over to Connor. Connor gives it. Up top to Cooper. Passing it around. Back underneath. Gives it back over to Connor. Way up top and loses the handle on as number nine Maddox Pastivo. Pastivo gives it to could not really tell you because again, you see the number too well. Zach has it underneath, gets back over to Connor, just kind of passing it around. No shot clock in this level of play as Cooper will take it now. Spin moves, tries to give it over to Maddox for Steve and that one's out of reach. He's going to let that one go out of bounds. It will be Cedar Park ball. Ball knocked away and taken by the Timberwolves. It's Maddox who gives over to Connor, just out of the reach of number seven for the Timberwolves. Connor in front of the net, takes it back out. Now invades two guys, falls to the ground, balls out, flags thrown. As Spartans now you play man up, takes a shot and save made by their goalkeeper. They get him for a push. It's Timberwolves, not Timberwolves. Well, Timberwolves will be playing man down. I do believe that Spartans will be man up. I know it's lacrosse, but I just, I have to say, man up sounds cool, but I guess a power play just sounds a little bit cooler. So, I think I'll just call and call it that. So 
So Connor will take it. Gives it up top to Nicholas Cooper. Over to 23, near. Shoots it back around, back up top. It was Mabley near has it, and Mir thinks he'll take a shot and shoots it back to the wing. Back up to Mabley. Lee back over to near. Near over to Cooper, underneath, and scores. Quickly scores, the man up goal. And it's now nine to two. <laughs> Face-off now will be knocked away, kicked away by the Spartans, but grabbed the long stick, number 42 of Cedar Park. High pass over the head, balls on the ground, tipped in the air. Who wants it? It's taken by number four, who gives it over to Jack Mabley. Maybe gives it over to Restivo. Underneath to the net to Zach. Might give it to Connor in front of the net. Takes a shot and scores. And my camera was not even looking at it. That is my apologies, folks. But another one-timer light goal for Connor. It's now 10-2 in favor of the Spartans. Balls tipped away. Who wants it? Grabbed by Spartans player. Keeps knocking it away. Now they will grab. Whistle will be blown. And now we'll be back with the Spartans. So Joseph had it originally. Is it back underneath the net? Over to Connor. Connor has at least four goals tonight. Looking pretty good. Takes a shot. Knocked away. Ball's on the turf. Picked up first by Cedar Park. Still on the ground. Who wants it? Whistle blown. And they'll go back to Cedar Park. That's actually Jason Layton behind the net I've been calling. Cedar Park will take it, takes a shot, and off the post. That came close to going in. Knocked down. Flags in the air. This will get a delayed penalty now. And the Spartans will go back on the man advantage. Just as a reminder, there will be girls lacrosse after this one. They'll be playing Lake Travis. That game will be on Vite Media right here. It will be a different link, though. So once this game is over, don't keep listening to me yapping. Just go click on backwards, and you'll find... Girls lacrosse, you can listen into that one. We also have boys baseball being played on the field over. That'll be on Vite Me, so you can go listen to that one. That game just started at 6 o'clock. Now will also be on Vite Media. Mabley will take it. Goes over to Luke Near. Near gives it to Cooper. 
Cooper over to Connor. Connor nowhere to go. And he'll be turned over. Cedar Park will take it. Pass was just a little bit off the stick. As that pass was off the mark, off the body of a Spartans player and able to pick it up. That's number 11. I can find him on my roster, which I can't. So I do apologize. I'd love to get your name in, but I can't. Connor will take it. Connor in the wing. Trying to decide which way he wants to go with this one. He'll give it up top to Cooper. Cooper has it in the wing. Sun really becoming a factor now at this point. Lights are already on in the stadium. Behind the net, Layton will take it. In front to Cooper. Cooper tries to bounce one in there, and he does. Around a defender on the ground, bounces in there, score. And number 11 is David Center. Now the one name I would absolutely love to get right now is one for our goalkeeper. And I'm seeing his number as number 7, but look at the roster that I have been taking a picture of, and I cannot find him. Have him do another game? Please let me know his name. I would absolutely love to get his name in on this broadcast. So center, he'll take a long shot and shoots it wide. And it will be Cedar Park ball. Two minutes, 32 seconds left to play here in the second. Spartans out in front, 11 to two. As that pass went a little bit wide, it'll be taken by Mabley. Mabley gives it up top to center. Center thinks about taking a shot, decides against it. He's gonna give it to Near. Here, just straddling the line. Goes over to Cooper. Cooper in the wing. Underneath to Wilkerson. Wilkerson back up to Mabley. Mabley back over to Cooper. Ball's off the stick, and he goes out of bounds into the soccer goal. Now they got to fish that one out. But a big, long stick does make that job a little bit easy. Give it to the goalkeeper. Long pass off the stick on the turf. Who wants it? Taken by Cooper. Cooper tucks his stick in, makes a long run, and tries to give it to number 27, Wyatt Wilkerson, and just a little bit off. As he'll take it all the way into the zone. Gives it to 19. Cedar Park hasn't scored anything since the first. Takes a shot and save made. By our nameless goalkeeper, number seven. Maybe we'll take it across midfield. Long on to himself, spin moves. 
Still able to try to give it to Wilkerson and just in and out of his stick as he had what looked to appear to be a shot. Knocks it away, able to grab it, straddles the line. Back up top to Mabley. Mabley, long shot, shoots it wide. Trying to go for a buzzer beater. A little bit more of two points in the major leagues. But just shoots it wide. We play two. Our score is St. Stephen Spartans 11, Cedar Park 2. Listening to St. Stephen Spartans Lacrosse on the Vite Media Network. We'll be right back. Yeah, they do. It's just a, it's a, 
And welcome back as we get ready to begin the second half here at St. Stephen's High School. St. Stephen's already with a pretty sizable lead against the Timberwolves of Cedar Park. As I got to zoom back out again, I was not ready for that. There we go. So offsides one more time. Sun will no longer be a factor as the lights are out. It's going to be nice and cool here. Timberwolves has it. have it knocked out of the stick. Who wants it knocked out again? The Spartans player grabbed by Cedar Park, taken again. Takes it along the wing. Can't really know where to go with it. He's going to, have to take it back out of the zone. Might take a shot. He will take a shot and bounces just wide of the net into the goal. He'll stay with the Timberwolves. Passes a bit high, goes out of bounds. That'll be turned over. Spartans pick it up. It's Cooper and gives it back to our nameless goaltender. Over to Nick, over to Jack Mabley, who puts it on the turf and able to tip it over to Connor. Connor takes it himself, might just run and take a shot right here. He will not, he'll give it back underneath to Layton. Make that Zach Middleson who takes a shot and bounces it wide and just wide of the stick of Connor. Connor puts it on the ground. Mailey has it in front of the net. He gets over to Luke Near. Near shoots it across, trying to set up a quick shot as the goaltender almost couldn't pick it up. for Cedar Park has it. He's over 23, puts it on the ground, but no one's there to contend for it other than him. So the cross takes a shot and scores. Cedar Park strikes first here in the third period. Sun goes down. It gets a little bit cooler out here, a little bit windier. Just as a reminder, there will be girls lacrosse right after this in the same spot. So, and that will be on Vite Media, in a different spot. If you would like to listen in, we also have boys baseball on the next field over, also on Vite Media for St. Stevens. So tune into that if you'd like. Cooper has it. He'll take it himself into the zone in front of the net. Has it knocked away. As 23 tries to grab, tries to pick it up. Can't get it. Connor tries to pick it up. Now he grabs it. It's almost turned over as Connor in front of the net. He'll take a shot and fires it wide. Now we'll go out of bounds. Connor's on the turf. Looking for a penalty, but it's not getting it. Near will take it. Back out of the zone, gives it to Cooper. Cooper in front of the net. Think about taking a shot. He's tripped up. And they're going to call a flag on that one. Yep. Tripping call there as the Timberwolves will go back on the man advantage. Right, 
So Mabley will take it as we begin the man up advantage. Things taking a shot long. Skis over to Connor. Connor gives it back up top to Cooper. Cooper gives it back over to Mabley. Mabley in the corner to Layden. Takes a shot and scores. Palms his fist in the air, and we're starting to hear some frustration by the Timberwolves. Spartans have it. Eight minutes left to play here in the third. Tries to give it underneath to Layton. In front of the net, would have a shot on the goal. Now he grabs it, tries to take a shot, has it knocked away and picked up by the Timberwolves. Ball knocked out. Knocked out again and grabbed by the Timberwolves. Flag is thrown as Spartans will go back on the man advantage. I like to call it the power play. But we're not watching hockey. It's a nice kind of combination of hockey and basketball and soccer. No, I think basketball and hockey kind of mix a little bit. Actually, sure, because you get to hold on to the ball, whereas in soccer you can kind of hold on to it, but you have to constantly, you know, keep it moving with your feet. Connor will take it. High pass to Cooper, able to come down with it. Shoots it back to the top of the zone to Near. Near gives it underneath to Layden, who scored the last goal. Also on the main edge to Mabel. Mabel, he takes a shot and save made by the goaltender. One of the first times that they have failed to score on the man advantage. Passes long underneath everybody. Going to go way out of bounds. High pass to number seven. Takes a shot and comes up a bit short. They tried to let him take a shot all on his own. <laughs> the Colts ender. Let him run all the way across. And now it's kind of a mad dash to get him back into this crease. Everybody runs into each other there. Cedar Park will take it. Takes a shot and save me by our nameless goaltender. Jack Madeley will take in. Up wing gives it up to 
Connor. It's been a little bit quiet this half. Having a pretty good outburst in the first. Back underneath to number one. That is Tice Pfeiffer. Now gives it over to Mabley. Mabley back up top to Connor. Flag is thrown. That flag is on whistle blown. And it'll be Cedar Park ball. Almost knocked out of the hands. A little out of reach. Will it stay in bounds? It will stay in bounds. Then he steps right out of bounds, number 24. And now back to the Spartans. Leading 12 to 3. I'll give it over to Mabley. Pass was intended for number 15, but was a little bit wide. Shot out of bounds. Now he's going to clear it back to our nameless goaltender here. Up top to Connor, right at midfield. Behind the net, it's Connor who loses the ball. Didn't quite pick it up, falling down. Still remain with the Spartans. Pass behind the net. Long pass into the wing. Spin move, takes a shot, and right right on the goal line does not go in. That was number one, Tice P Pfeiffer, who's trying to make a bid out of goal. Shoots it, it bounces, and it just stays right on the line, not quite across. That was dangerously close to, an, un, to, a, un, to, a, to a lucky 13 for the Spartans. Drives to the net, takes a shot, ball is knocked wide. Whistle blown. Cedar Park will have it. And just over the reach of the player. But big space in between the midfield and the attacking zone. I should say midfield. 24 fakes a shot, now gives it to five. In front of the net, it's not going to pass it back behind the net. Shoots it back out in front, takes a shot, and doesn't quite go in. Save made by a nameless goaltender. This ball is knocked away. Fought for right around the out-of-bounds marker. Grabbed by Cedar Park. That was number 10, Hawkins 
Hawkins, who's trying to knock that away. Minute 30 left to play in the first. Pass intended for someone in front of the net. Flag is thrown. So you might see... So I think we we're going to see the Timberwolves go on the man advantage for one minute for an unsportsmanlike conduct. So man advantage now, first man advantage for the Timberwolves. Ball's knocked away as he just cannot keep it in his stick. Gives it across. Pretty much they'll be on man advantage until the end of the period. Have yet to take a shot. Back up top. Can't really get a shot on this one. In front of the net. Shoots in front. Takes a shot. Knocked away. What a nice defensive play there by the Spartans. Ball's on the ground. Who wants it? Bouncing around. It'll be taken by the Timberwolves. Clears it back, and they're going to reset everything. On the field. Takes a shot. Shoots it wide. as Cedar Park's going to take a timeout with 11 seconds left in the period. Trailing in this one, 12-3. to three. Only one goal scored by either team this period. After the offensive outburst by the Timberwolves. So 11 seconds left in the quarter. Cedar Park will have that much time to try to get one more shot. There's some bit of confusion on this one. Cedar Park had their stick on the ball.
As we still have a bit of a stoppage here. I thought we were about ready to play out the end of the third quarter, but I guess they decided to take one more little break. Five seconds left, six seconds actually now. Now five seconds left. They're not going to let him get any shot on net as the ball is taken by Spartans. They got a long, long pass there into the other side of the field. And that will do it for the third period. Only one goal scored by either team this period. As the Spartans keep their rather commanding nine-goal lead here. And they'll take that one to the fourth. After three, our score is Cedar Park, three, Spartans, 12. Listening to St. Stephen's Spartans Lacrosse on the Vite Media Network. Keep it here. Start of the fourth quarter here. Cedar Park, sorry, St. Stephen's leading Cedar Park, 12 to three. Face off was initially won. Given to Connor. Connor gives it up top to number nine. That is Maddox. Maddox gives it, tries to give it to the wing, but underneath the stick of number 27. I have difficulty finding on my score chart. There you go, Wyatt Wilkerson. Enough says he wants a four. Park takes himself, tries to give it to one person, but shoots it wide, and someone else able to grab hold of it. Try to do some little stutter step action there, and gives it back to the top of the zone. Back to the wing to that same person doing the stutter steps. Suits it across underneath. Let's give it to number seven. Knocked away, taken by the Spartans. Flag is thrown, though. So it looks like Spartans will once again go man down. Trying to set things up down there. Is 
that I dropped my phone, which has my roster on it. <laughs> back to the top. Doesn't take a shot. Back over to number 19 with the Timberwolves on the man advantage over the Spartans. Back over to 19. Tries to get it back up top, and it will be taken by the Spartans' long pass over the head of everybody, which is good for us at least, and then shot back into the Cedar Park zone, then grabbed by the Spartans. Very long pass, trying to clear this one out of everything. And that'll be a long pass that goes all the way out of bounds, and it will be Cedar Park ball. Back out in front, he's got a chance in front of the net, takes a shot, shoots it wide. Wonderful job there by the Spartans to keep that shot going wide. Gives it across and out of the reach of everybody towards the out of bounds. Able to keep it in, much like a basketball player trying to keep a ball in bounds. Cedar Park grabs it, stays in bounds. In front of the net, takes a shot and scores. So Cedar Park draws first blood here in the fourth quarter. And they trail 12 to four over the Spartans. Face off will be Jack Mabley tries to grab it doesn't and it's taken by the Spartans. 17 gives it over to Connor. And he gives up the top of the zone to Cooper. Cooper over to Mabley. Maybe over to Wyatt. Layton will take it now from back behind the net. Over to Connor who fight, fires a shot but fires a wide out of bounds. Pretty smart decision to keep a bunch of lacrosse balls just right outside the out-of-bounds mark. Not do, do a lot of time chasing them down. As that ball will be bounced back into the Cedar Park zone, all those players are now going to try to go grab it. I think they're going to call offside, though. So it will be Cedar Park ball. And Friday Night takes a shot but fires it wide. He's over number five. He's got nowhere to go with this one. Spartans defense has been pretty top notch as that ball's knocked away on the turf. Who wants it? It's grabbed by Cooper. Cooper full head of steam, drives to the net in front to Connor. Spit makes a move and shoots and scores. <laughs> and the Spartans get that goal right back. It's 13 to four.
Face off is taken first by the Spartans, now by the Timberwolves. Long pass just out of the reach of the Timberwolves. It's picked up by the Spartans. Number nine, that is Maddox Restivo. Gives it to midfield to, I believe that's Connor. It is. Connor's going to take it himself. Gives it in front of the net. And fired the shot, but save made by the goalkeeper for Cedar Park. And they whistle blown. So Spartans ball once again. Tice Pfeiffer given over to number three. Out of the reach of 13. That's Joseph who has it now. In front of the net takes a shot save made. That was number three taking a shot. That was William Burkhart. And taken back by the Spartans. And then taken a save made again. This time a very long pass by the goalkeeper. Number five will take it. Spartans in front, 13 to four. Thanks. Passed it behind the net. I think tried to, looked almost like he tried to shoot it from behind the net, trying to have it go through the net. At least from my angle, picked up by our once again nameless goaltender. As a penalty is been called on the spark on the Timberwolves as I lost track of the ball there for just a brief moment. Number nine will take it. Shoots it wide and it'll be out of bounds. However, once again the Spartans will go back on the man advantage. So back on the man advantage go the Spartans. Already up 13 to 4. 4 minutes 50 seconds left to play in the ball game. Is it given across and it's going to be taken by the Timberwolves. We have a miscue there. Is they're going to have a shot short-handed? Timberwolves have it in a little spin move action. As the man advantage is ended. Number five will take it in front of the net, trying to give it to someone else in front of the net. Set up with that kind of one-timer-like opportunity, but just out of reach. Ball's on the turf, picked up by the Timberwolves. Gives in front, two flags have flown in the air. Is that will most likely be a penalty on the Spartans and now the Timberwolves will go on the man advantage.
So here we go. Spartans on a man advantage. 13 to 4 lead the Spartans. Sorry, Timberwolves on the man advantage as the pass is almost a bit too high. Number five would have essentially been cleared. If I go to five, he's going to take a shot and decides against it. Trying to let things develop. Back over to five. Back out in front. Has nowhere to go with it. Good defense by the Spartans. Guarding that net. In front of the net takes a shot. Save made by the goaltender. As he was wide open. A good job blocking it with his body. And they're going to give it right up back over to number seven. Our nameless goaltender. If his parents are listening to this broadcast, I sincerely apologize and I promise you, next time I do a broadcast St. Stephen's, hopefully we'll get a chance to do another one. I'll make sure to get the goaltender's name. Long pass to 28. As he puts it on the turf, it's knocked away. Who wants it? Kicked away. Now picked up by Cooper. And then I say it's turned over. Back over to, let me see the guy's number, but Timberwolves will have it. Takes a shot and scores. Timberwolves adding an extra one here. It's 13 to five now, but just two minutes and two seconds left to play. Face off, we'll have whistle blown already. Now exactly two minutes left to play here. As the girls game is supposed to start right at seven o'clock and there actually is a field over. It's pretty dark right now where you saw them warming up. So there's gonna be too much time in between these games. See who wants this one. It will be taken on the long stick of Cedar Park. Takes a shot, bounces it wide, out of bounds. Cedar Park has it. Pass fire just a little bit wide. Takes a shot, bounces it over the net. Ball's going to go out of bounds and through the soccer goal, goal net. One minute to go, or at least 59 seconds. Close to one minute, and the Spartans will have it. Nameless goaltender picks it up. Brady, 
40 seconds to go now. Cedar Park knocks the ball out of the hands. Knocked again. Ball knocked loose. Tripped up. No flag thrown. As the Spartans are going to win this one, 13 to 5. Just going to let the clock run down as they have possession. No real needs and reason to try to pass this one around. And that will do it. The Spartans ride a very hot first quarter. And they take this one, 13 to 5. Keep it here. You listen to some girls lacrosse after this. They'll be playing Lake Travis. As always, that will be on Vite Media. So I think that will do it from us here. I'd like to thank my QA, Randy, for... Actually, make sure it was... Yep. QA, Randy, for making sure the broadcast sounds also good. For Suna, for helping out my computer problems. And thank you to St. Stephen's for allowing me to broadcast a couple of lacrosse games tonight. It's been a lot of fun. So we'll be, at least I'll be still here doing girls lacrosse right after this. Want to keep listening and be on different links. Don't just keep listening to me yapping. And I'll do it for us here. My name is Brian Reed reminding you to please wash your hands. Please wear a mask. Stay safe. I'll catch you next time.